Sorry, it's taking a while for my camera to catch up. It's mom humming in the background. Anyway, uh, yeah, my hair is like helmet hair right now. And I don't mean like mousse. I mean, it feels like I put like shellac, like bowling ball coating on the outside of this joker. Look, look at this. Look, uh, you see how everything moves? I have a um, splat hair color called Berry Blast that I decided to try. It looks like a mix between a purple and a fuchsia on the box. Um, the box is actually in the bedroom. Mayhaps I should take the computer with me and go look at it. I uh, didn't really, ooh, look at that glare. Didn't really plan on um, filming, but may as well, why not? Slacker ass, I haven't put up many videos lately, so I need to get some more, and I'm being followed. Hello, this is Mr. Chase, yes. and he plays his game a lot. Look at that one. And, and he never stops oh, yes. until he dies. <laughs> yes, he and plays. And he also likes pancakes. Uh huh. And and candy. Okay. And He's... gummy bears. Yes. He's having pancakes for dinner. Pretty much, we share custody. Sorry, moving his step stool between me and his uh, father. And on my days, Chase pretty much wants pancakes for dinner every day. There are days that he has had, and I'm talking the frozen ones, and the you know you not you just nuke them, but they come in stacks of three, and they're like that big. Well, he eats all three. He has for a long time years and um there's been days that he literally has said i finished my pancakes and hands me the bowl and says more pancakes please and he'll eat another three the kid is like no fat on him at all he's like all muscle and he is he just turned six last october and he's like 49 inches tall yeah that part so anyway moving on <laughs> he's eating pancakes so this is the hair color my screen looks like shit I don't know what it is about when I film, it looks horrible, and then when I watch it back, it looks fine. Okay, so anyway, this is the one that I'm using this time to try it out. Can't see, I got glare for days. Anyway, it's called Berry Blast, it's down here. And uh, it's splat. And basically, I've never used it before. I see all the cool colors. They have the bright blue and the green and the fuchsia, and I almost did the fuchsia kind of pink again, but I said, well, I'm gonna try something a little different. So Berry Blast to me looks like it's kind of between a, a purple and a fuchsia mix. So it looks pretty cool on the box. I will say this. I did this yesterday. I dyed it. I washed it. I did everything yesterday and combed it out. The color was like pink. It was just like when I did it last time. Now, in defense of flat, I literally, I didn't do the bleaching part. Because you can see it comes with all the stuff to do bleaching. <clears throat> I didn't really feel the need to because um, my hair had been that Revlon um, lightest golden brown, which I describe as a Beyonce color. That's what I call it all the time. Anyway, um, that color to me is very light and I bleached my hair before I did that color. So that color had kind of washed out and I was back to like a blonde almost, like looking like a Palomino up in here, y'all, walking around prancing. Anyway, um, so I didn't feel the need to bleach it again. Not to mention, I have lost a ton of hair. It's grown to where it's past my shoulders finally. Um, originally when I got this cut, like almost two years ago, it was like that angled cut, which I love. And then uh, I tried to grow it out and I pretty much let it do its thing. My initial intent was to keep it kind of short in a shortcut because when you're, I wanted to experiment with colors. You know, I've had serious jobs my whole life. Now I don't, you know, I'm kind of like housewife, stay-at-home mom slash starting my dog breeding business again and planning to show, hopefully later this year. So, I can wear crazy colors now, y'all. It don't matter. And um, I've been trying all these different colors. Well, of course, it dries your hair out. It fries your hair. And those of you who are ethnic know that our hair is even more sensitive to these bleaches and things and dries out really easily and breaks very easily. So I literally have been like in the shower. I had, well, first of all, I got knots for days. Anybody who's had curly hair, you know damn well if you don't tie that crap up when you go to bed and you wake up the next day, put it in a bun, 
do your thing, come back home, and when you go home and try to comb it again, mm, no, Carlos, no, it's not going to happen because you got knots, because curls turn into knots. So I had the worst knots underneath the back part, and I'm very impatient, and I was sick a few weeks back and did not feel well, and just to stand in the shower for 45 minutes with your arms yanking and tugging and trying to use this, I didn't have a detangling comb at the time, I was using a regular comb, but still, it was just mats, I mean knots, for really, I was in bed for many days, I was very sick, so. Um, yeah, I pretty much just ripped some hair out. And then afterwards, and oh look, here's some right here as an example. This is just yesterday. See this little wad of hair? All of that came off of this comb when I just combed through, and there were no knots yesterday when I washed the color out the first time. Just straight through comb, and that much hair was on the comb. And that's just one time. I had already emptied it before that. When I was sick, and then I got better, and then I was combing my hair in the shower, I was working on those knots. I had handfuls, maybe four of them, of hair that I ended up chucking and chucking and chucking. So my hair is very broken off in the back, and it's very thin. It still looks long, but I cannot wear it down. It just is so thin and thready looking that it's not worth it. Um, I do plan on going and getting it chopped. I'm going to go ahead and have it done short. I just haven't decided which style yet. Um, short hair is easier for me. And honestly, the longer my hair is, the less the curls are easy to work with because the weight is kind of pulling it down and keeping them from just curling like they know they do naturally. Um, and for those that didn't watch earlier videos, I am half black, half Portuguese. So I have sort of ringlet curls, but the tight, small ones. My daughter has the nice big ringlet curls. I have the tight, small curls that get tangled really easy, like that. So, um, pardon my hands if you see some ugliness because I was outside with the dogs. And if you see that mark right there, that would be a chihuahua bite. Yeah. Um, on a previous video, it should be up our new chihuahuas. Uh, we got three, I can't count. We got four girls and a boy. The boy we already had for almost six weeks now or more. And then we just got the girls last weekend. It was a busy weekend. Friday, we got the four female chihuahuas. We had to drive about an hour and something away, which is Orlando. And um, got the four girls. It was a breeder that was going out of business. Her husband passed away, sadly, but um, she needed to downsize. So we got a really, really good deal on the chihuahuas because we were just looking to get into breeding. We thought we were going to get one female that weekend to go with our little male Vinny. And we ended up with four females. Um, we went there to get three and uh, ended up leaving with four and three of which are in heat right now. So we will see. Vinny doesn't, he's interested, but he's, uh, he has not bred before and he's not really doing his job at the moment. So I might have to call in a backup off the bench. I'm not sure. Anyway, moving on. Hair color. Let's get back to it. So I have helmet head because it's been busy as hell. Last Friday, we got the chihuahuas. Right after hubby got out of work, we went straight to Orlando, came back. Set up four dogs. Now, mind you, we just went from four dogs. An old boxer, Romeo, the beast, Sparky, the yapster, Jack Russell. All of them have crates, and it's set in a certain way. They eat in their crates. Their bowls are in their crates. Good to go. I bred and showed years ago. I have lots of crates, lots of bowls. I don't know where the hell they are. I donated some to rescue. I have a couple here. So, um... We really weren't prepared because I just talked to the lady that morning. I was in another city. My crates were here in another city in another county. So it was just juggling and we figured we'd get the crates the next day and we'll make do with what we had there. And we have a spare room. We just gated it off and we kind of let the girls have their thing because they've been living together loose. So it was not a big deal. Um, but to go from three, oh, hang on. Sorry, Vinny. I'm counting Vinny. Okay, to go from the three originals, and we added Vinny about six weeks ago. We have him on the schedule. He's with the boys. He's good. Kind of had to juggle because he can't really go out with all the boys. Romeo's too rough, and Sparky doesn't like him because he's kind of taken over his spotlight as the little dog in the house. Um, Vinny is cool as can be and happy and lovey, lovey, lovey. And um, let's see. So we had them. That made four dogs. 
kind of got comfortable with that routine in the last several weeks and then all of a sudden it, this lady's like my husband passed and i'm downsizing and i will sell you these adults that are this much and it was a super deal could not pass it i mean seriously super deal um so we went and got them immediately uh we do have everything set up now where they're the girls are still in that back bedroom i have crates set up and if we need them and for when they have mama time with puppies so they can be separated from the other ones they all have their own little space and um it's a juggling act though so saturday we decided we really need a way that we can let everybody out at once and uh keep it simple kiss method kiss method keep it simple stupid i learned that in paramedic school anyway um we went and bought a 10 by 10 dog kennel from uh tractor supply love it my new favorite store they had little baby chicks in there they're so cute uh, i can't wait till we can get property and be able to have chickens and make a coop and all that stuff but anyway so we got these 10 by 10 dog pen which is also on a video online on the channel and yeah it was from evening till way into the night past florida state bird mosquito time um to put that sucker together we did cheat and we zip tied it uh, because we were like this is quicker and we'll come back the next day and put the official metal connectors on it we didn't do the metal connector well it did one one uh, and then we realized this is going to take so long, it's going to be like tomorrow morning when we're done. And we had to get up and get Little Boy Blue, so we decided we would do zip ties. Well, now we've decided we're leaving the zip ties because we know we're not going to stay at Hub's house. It's too small for what we need to do with our business and, um, you know, just for the size family that we plan to have living there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we left the zip ties on and we just kept the metal things and everything in the box because we're not going to officially really set it up if we had done the metal clips we would really have a hard time taking it apart to be able to move it wherever we move zip ties or rather hubby's all about the knives he'll just whip out a knife and, and we'll be done so that's the plan it's going to stay zip tied moving back to the hair no wait that was saturday okay sunday we had little boy blue we came home we still had to juggle the dogs oh yeah we were on a mission to find a double recliner i wanted a couch because hubby had his recliner rocker and i had a folding chair like you take to a freaking picnic that's what i've been sitting in since i met him like you know forever um not comfortable so we like to snuggle and watch movies so we would snuggle in the recliner together well the recliner said that's enough and that was the straw that broke the recliner's back because it started to lean and it was bent and I had to flip it one day and hammer it like I was like some blacksmith and I mean I was beating that thing to death trying to bend the metal back where it needed to be for the gears to uh, be aligned to allow it to put the footrest up and it wasn't happening and even after I got it to where it would do that it took some finagling and sometimes I couldn't even get it open hubby can always get it open and then after that it's still leaning so it is now sitting on the curb and we found yet another awesome deal that was part of our weekend thing we uh, ran around like crazy trying to find a cheap double reclining couch so basically there's a recliner on each end and they have one section in the middle that's a regular seated couch section uh didn't get the one with the cup holders in the middle i wish we could have but just didn't happen so we ended up um somehow coming across an ad he found on facebook for a double recliner just what we wanted exactly but it was in my county and way south and we were in his county so we didn't we were going to come over here the next day anyway so we told him we'd come and get it well they told us it was super heavy you're not going to be able to put it in an suv i have a small suv if you watch the video it's on there it's the double recliner drama and um yeah that was a sanford and son we were sanford and son for real um I, I, I wish somebody would have filmed when we were trying to get it up on top of my SUV because it could go in it had to go up and we didn't want to do a U-Haul we tried and they were acting stupid about what kind of cars you can use or not and um, just the other one the hourly rental wasn't worth it because we had to go from one county to the other and then bring the truck back it would have been way too expensive so we put it on top of my SUV and we did make it home it works watch the video but gosh, I wish somebody would have filmed us while we were putting it up because it was just me and Jay Hubs moving this heavy couch. So we flip it and turn it upside down and we're like two ants trying to push an apple 
up a freaking hill. <laughs> it was so, so crazy. I thought it wasn't going to happen, but had a friend on hot standby and um, ended up not needing them. We worked it out. We're pretty good at figuring out some problem solving there. So we just used some leverage and I climbed up there and my bare feet and slid down the windshield a few times and it is what it is. We got it up there and then we toe strapped that bastard down like it was gold. Uh, we had like 10 straps on it so it wasn't going anywhere but still I drove home like grandma. I wasn't playing on the interstate. Anyway, we got it home so that was accomplished too. So it was a really busy weekend but we got a lot of things done that only had to be done once. We got the dogs, so we have our whole breeding set. We got the kennel set up, so we have a place now that they can go out, and the big dogs are out in the yard, and the kennel is 10 by 10. Chihuahuas are all in there. There's five of them now. They all go in there. They can be safe from the bigger dogs trampling them, and um, they can go out with Bucky. Bucky's an old man. He's the boxer. He doesn't bother anybody, um, so they're fine to go out with Bucky, but the other two, no. Um... Not to mention we have Zeus, and I don't want another incident like I had on the video. Uh, I put up a video yesterday of Zeus, aggressive pit bull, something like that I put on there. Anyway, it's on the channel. Check it out. You'll see the drama I had to go through the day that Zeus managed to get over the fence and into my yard and wanted to attack me in my yard and didn't want to get the hell out of my yard. Then he wanted to attack animal control. They had sent three. Three trucks out, y'all. Not one. Because the first one, she got him in the catch pole and he snatched it from her. He took the pole from her. Like, took it. Like, bitch. You know, I mean, he took it. So she had to call for backup. Backup couldn't do anything. He attacked them. They maced him. They pepper sprayed him. Still didn't care. He was still trying to attack people. Uh, they backed up, called for a third. We had three trucks in front of my house. I look like I'm running a dog fighting ring. Who brings three animal control trucks in front of your house? Who? I think Michael Vick was probably the last person that had that. Anyway, so this is going to be a long video, but it is what it is. Scroll ahead if you want to get to the hair color stuff. So basically, I'm going to take this out. It is getting late. And little boy's got to leave in 25 minutes. You notice I took it out and this shit ain't even moving. It is, listen, I don't know if y'all can hear that on the camera, but it sounds like I'm moving tree limbs. It is so hard, it's not even funny. So basically, what I did with the splat, <clears throat> I'm sitting on a table that's not meant to be sat on, I'm about to bust my ass, and it's gonna be good viewing for y'all. It comes with all this in the <clears throat> inside. That's the powder that goes for the, the bleaching. This is that something oxide chemical that they have that goes with the bleach. So you do that first, I skipped it, because my hair was already very, very light, and it was very blonde. Um, then this is what I used, which is basically, in the sink because I didn't clean this shit up from yesterday. This is it right here. This is basically just a stain. So all I needed was to put this on because my hair was already blonde, bleached. It wasn't going to get any lighter than it was. Pardon me, I just ate and wow. See, eat that healthy bread with all those seeds in it. You end up with seeds in your teeth. Anyway. Instructions. Anyway, that comes with instructions, of course, like every freaking thing does. But uh, they suggest different ways that you can do your hair color. Let's see if it'll show up. See how you can do the tips or streaks or the top or just the under. I thought that under one down here looked pretty cool. But I've already got mine dark and I'm, you know, doing the color on top and keeping the bottom black. It makes it easier. I do need to shave that joker down again, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I'm not going to. Uh, you can't make me. Not going to do it for a while. Um, I, thankfully, I have pretty good hair, so if I spray it with my little leave-in conditioner and water mix in the morning and just brush it down, I end up with, like, smooth little waves. Look like I got an S-curl kit going on. For those of you who don't know, maybe of the Caucasian persuasion, S-curl is a kit that makes nappy black hair look like smooth waves. Anyway, moving on. Um, so anyway, they got that on the instructions. Well, what I thought it was funny, and I never read the instructions. I just don't. I figure stuff out. I have, I look at the pictures. I mean, come on. That's why the pictures are there. But, um, I thought it was pretty funny that there are little warning things. They have things on here like, um, there you go. You're about to become a splathead. Congrats. It's really cute. I like their direct, their little instructions. And then, of course, I got the normal head and the splat head. 
thought that was cute. And then on the back here somewhere, let's see, da, 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 before, read first, quick notes to get started. Well, hell, I don't know where it was that I was reading it. Uh, where is it that it has the warnings? What the? F okay, this is just irritating. All right, anyway, I'm not sure where it is on here because I'm not seeing it. It's probably on the other side or some such shit. Anyway, it had funny little things in here like, make sure you wear gloves, otherwise your hands will match your hair. I thought that was cute. And uh, it's true, because if you see my thumb, my thumb is straight up purple. That was from a hole that was in my gloves that I didn't know was in my gloves. I have these black gloves that are reusable. Bought them at Sally's Beauty Supply. I love them. They're uh, reusable. They come in whatever, different colors, but I always get the black ones covers up the dye, but I've used these for probably eight months, and they're just now getting like a little hole that was in one of them, so, ah, and there's another one right there, hole, wonder, my other finger had a spot on it too, anyway, doesn't matter, um, I did dye myself right here somewhere, there's a little spot too that dye that left, so anyway, you're supposed to wash it out, it says on to leave it on here for like 30-ish minutes to an hour. And for more thicker resistant hair to leave more thicker for thicker resistant hair to leave it on there for an additional 30 minutes well I was in a rush yesterday and I do this a lot because I always put more on my plate than I can possibly get done I do it all the time and um, I only left it on there for probably the 30 minutes and then I rinsed it out so I ended up with instead of like a deep purplish color I ended up with um, the same bright fuchsia pink that I had before which would have been fine. I was going to let it roll, but I really want to see if I can get this kind of color. Plus, I think the darker it is, the longer it will last as far as washing. Obviously, it's going to keep washing out a little every uh, time you wash it. And I was trying to see if this is supposed to be a permanent or a semi-permanent. I imagine it's a semi-permanent. I'm sure it's on the box if you read the instructions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not going to happen. I got a keys on me like a janitor. Look at that. I, yeah, I'm not playing. That is me all day, every day. I walk around like that, and I got this little carabiner, which I just broke the last one. I use these, and I clip them on the belt loop. So I walk around, and I go in stores, and people go, excuse me, man, can you tell me where such and such is? Because I got the keys jingling, and they think I work there. It doesn't matter. I don't have a uniform on. But you know what? I shop at so many stores. I'm like, yes, ma'am. That'll be three aisles over in the middle. Why not help somebody out? Doesn't matter. Ain't going to hurt me. I helped the lady find a rescue today for a chihuahua that I thought I was going to buy, but he has a lot of health problems, and she does too, so, sorry. I found her a uh, rescue group to talk to because she really needed help with the medical bills for him. Hmm. A little more shine on the halo. That's held up by horns. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So. That's where I'm at. I put a second coating in quickly yesterday before I left because I'd only used half the bottle. And there's still some in the bottle right there. Let's see. Um, I'd only used half the bottle, and it was as sopped up as it could get, and I didn't want it to drip down into the black, y'all, which has gray all up in it. That's just terrible. I didn't want it to get into that black, which reminds me i got to do that black under there before I leave. And typically, I just take the black from a regular hair color, the actual coloring, and I take that little brush, uh, this one. I kept it from one of my other kits. And I just gently brush that black on there and let it sit like a stain, just like I'm doing with this. Well, this was supposed to get washed out when I got to Hubby's yesterday, but we had so much shuffling with the dogs and trying to make sure the furniture was where we wanted it. And we had some issues with one of the dogs. She's been biting whenever she's on the ground. And he, that's part of the reason we got the kennel. We could not catch them the first night. They were like running through the yard like a wildlife game preserve. We had a hard time catching them, especially... If you look at the pictures on the other video of the Chihuahua, especially long legs. She's got super legs. She's twice as tall as everybody else. She's called a deer Chihuahua. She's Penny, Penelope, Penny. Oh my God, she ran like a gazelle. I'm not kidding. It was dark. It's, it, the, that part of the yard is dark. We don't have a floodlight yet. And I just see a white blur jumping and disappearing. Jumping and disappearing. And Hubs is going back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, oh God. We had to like corral her with a gate. Thank goodness we had other dog things there that we could use. Anyway, so nah, then the problem, back to the 10 by 10. So they can only run in the 10 by 10. They still give you a run around. 
and in the house. So they're getting better. But one of them had this proclivity that whenever she was on the floor, you couldn't get her. We'd carry two at a time and we couldn't get her. So she always ended up being the last one. When she's the last one, you go to pick her up and she's quiet and shy and she looks sweet. And then she's like, rah, rah, she mauls the hell out of you like a Tasmanian devil. My finger being proof. This, I'm not flipping you all off, I promise. That is slit all the way across the joint and it's actually kind of deep and it is pretty sore. But yeah, I was not amused with the little girl at that. And that was in the house. I was trying to take her outside to be with the other chihuahuas. So yeah, we decided the pen. Well, the pen's not much better because they still gave me the run around in there and I don't have time for all that. Nobody got time for that. So um, my new thing now, which is working quite well, they all have collars from the dollar store. Cat collars because the dog collar was too big for them. Cat collars. So they all have a different color cat collar on with a little bell and they got a little bow. I found some cute ones. And um, pretty much they are wearing a leash, dollar store as well, a long lightweight leash inside the kennel. Anytime they go out, they get a leash clipped, they get put in the kennel and they just go around and drag the leash with them. Because then when we go back in and open the kennel door, they want to either bolt past you and try to get out and you don't, you can't stop four of them at once. I mean, we, we've had an issue. We almost lost the one when we opened the back of the SUV the first night. She was trying to go. Um, so with the leash leads, we can either step on it and stop them or at least grab it. And when they're running from us, we can grab it and keep them from running any further. And then we can eventually reel them in like fish or just walk over to them and get them. So now that they've figured out we can't get away with these leashes, they've actually been perfect. They come to the door and it's been a great day. But I'm not going to, I ain't falling for the banana in the tail, but I'm, uh, they're going to keep up this leash thing until they actually will come to us when we call them. So we're using lots of treats, lots of food. Sorry, I told you this would be a long video because it's multiple to topics. Okay, so the hair color thing. I was, I went, I put it in before I left. I have almost an hour drive to Hubs because this is the second coating, mind you. And um, I thought I would wash it out as soon as I got there. Well, I couldn't because we had dog room. I got to clean after the dogs. They weren't using the pee pads. Some of them were going to the bathroom in other places in the room. And I had to clean that and spray it and sanitize it. And then, you know, we got the other big dogs. They had to go out. And then I had to get the other dogs back in, bring the little ones in. I mean, it was just shuffle, shuffle. And then we had couch time where everybody's on the couch with us. Because they do come to the couch and they sit with us and lay on us and lick us and play with us. And check out the video on Chloe, cutest bag ever. Chloe is the number one out of the group. She was my first pick. As soon as I walked in the door, I said that one. Um, she is super sweet, super funny. She has this little begging thing she does with her paws and when she wants to be petted. But she's no problem at all. She comes to us all the time since day one, minute one. I wish the other ones would follow her footsteps. But anyway, paw, foot, paw, paw steps, paw, paw. You know what I mean. Anyway, um... So, I never got a chance to wash this out. Hubs kind of had a sore knee. He went to bed early. I had to do the last duty with dogs at around 1130 at night, taking them in and out. I was tired. I only had two hours of sleep the night before. So, thus the helmet head. I, w I don't like to go to bed with wet hair, for one. And two, on these funny instructions from Splat, they tell you if you wear something while your hair is wet and it drips, it's going to get stained. If you go to bed with your hair damp at all, because the color continues to bleed, even if you've rinsed it very well, you're going to wake up with a pink pillow. Because, you know, it doesn't come out purple, it comes out pinkish on your pillow. And it is what it is. Anybody that uses reds or pinks or uh, burgundies, you know this. You know this, man. So, basically... I don't want to go to bed with wet hair anyway. I don't like doing it. We keep the house colder over there than we do here. I'm always cold. I'm wrapped in a blanket at night. Hubs is like polar bear. He's good to go. Arctic. And I wasn't about to do it. Go to bed with wet hair. Wasn't happening. So it didn't get washed out. It didn't get washed out this morning because I was doing doggy shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I figure, hey, I got to go to mom's and we're going to go get little boy blue and then I'll wash it out. So here it is, 6 o'clock, and he's about to leave in 15 minutes, and I got 15 minutes to wash this shit out of my hair. So I'm going to go so I can wash this out because it's been well over 24 hours. I, this stain has not set into this hair now. It ain't happening. It just ain't happening. So anyway, hopefully it's darker than it was yesterday. Whatever the case, I got to go because I only got so much time to wash it out. So I shall return soon. All right. Quickly, people. 
this is the color. I haven't finished detangling it yet because I, of course, I did. <laughs> I've washed out the color in the kitchen sink. It's very deep, and it has one of those um, sprayer nozzles that you can do different the sprayer or the regular. So I can use the sprayer. Um, not as much dye came out as I thought would come out because I think I left it in 24 plus flipping hours, and that's why it's soaked all up in there. So anyway, uh, my lighting is shit. Sorry about that. I need to put in some brighter bulbs. Um, these are those soft white ones. But you can see the color did come out very vibrant. And I got it stuck in my ring. Um, now you can see what I mean by it's very thin. If you look at the back, you can see how thin it is. It's nowhere near as thick as the top is. So I'm probably going to have the my hair lady uh, go ahead and do that same cut that I had before. Leave it. I love you. Say bye to YouTube. Bye bye YouTube. <laughs> All right. Me. I've got to get him outside because his dad is gonna is probably here. Yes, we have to have a mint every time he leaves. He likes lifesavers mints. Wintergreen, not peppermint. All right. Uh, managed to dye a couple fingers again. Just rinsing it out. Just a word to the wise. And finger combing it like you just saw me doing. So um, I will post pictures at the end that show what the color looks like when it's dry and styled and not just dog wet and me running out the damn door and my ears hurt so bad I haven't had earrings up here in forever anybody that has these piercings know knows that cartilage hurts like a bitch when you put something back in there so anyway this is the color came out almost as dark as my shirt y'all I'm liking it a lot so can't wait till it dries and um, I'll put a picture at the end thank you for watching like and subscribe Okay, so I was a complete lazy bitch. I didn't feel like really doing that many pictures, so I don't know how many I'll be at the end. Figure it out when you get there. Isn't she beautiful? Says the man with all these chihuahuas. Look at this. Look, the chihuahua whisperer. Where, wait, there's Vinny. There's Kalua going to the hoof again. Speckle face in the corner by his elbow over there. There's Penny, who just got in trouble earlier because she went underneath the seat while I was driving. I had to stop the car. Beauty! There's beautiful. And way over there, little monkey Chloe. She's the one that has her own video. Chloe! You're so cute. Yeah, Chihuahua Whisperer. Look at that. Couch full of Chihuahuas. So, anyway, let me go back in the bathroom. I did not style my hair. <laughs> Gotta love it. Faked it. Totally faked it. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, here's a color. Hopefully it comes out on the uh, screen like it should. This light is yellowish and my screen is shit. So, I can't tell. But anyway, I uh, still got the undercut going on. But, um, yeah, I'm digging the color, y'all. So, my advice on the Berry Blast Splat would be leave it on there like an hour <laughs> after you bleach your hair. That way you can get the maximum absorption. Because this was actually very, like, half this shade yesterday after I just did, like, 30 minutes. Um, it was probably, like, a fuchsia pink, which was definitely half the strength of this. This is nearly as purple as my shirt right now. And I'm digging it. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.